Good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Nikhil Angunyu, and I want to welcome you all to our webinar for today. Uh, I hope you all can see my screen, a Mansa X trading model uh, screen shared. Uh, today's webinar, we have also Nahashan Mungai, who's an executive director for Global Markets. I myself am an executive director for strategy and operations. Hi, are you looking to maximize your earning potential even with the prevailing market conditions? Why not consider a multi-asset strategy fund that not only gives you alpha returns, but also diversifies your investment portfolio across many asset classes, thereby reducing your exposure to risk? Invest in Mansa X and begin your exciting journey with Standard Investment Bank. Mansa X is regulated by the Capital Market Authority. In fact, in 2019, we're able to give our clients an annualized return of 24%. To join us, simply dial 0777 or simply visit our website, sib.co.ke. See you soon. So we'll start with the hot SIB. Introduction to our team, introduction to Mansa X, and um, a trading model for Mansa X, what we've been waiting for. So, first of all, is talk about SIB. So, we are a company that is regulated by CME as an investment bank. The requirements of a company capital is 250 million. At SIB, we managed to get three times the amount, which is 750 million. We manage uh, over 11 billion worth of assets, um, both for equities and for Mansa X assets combined. We are members of the NSE, so we have a seat. We are members of CDSC, CASIP, CASIP, which is the Kenyan Association of Stockbrokers and Investment Banks. And within our client base, we manage over, from government, fund managers, corporations, financial institutions, high net worth clients, and also retail clients. So our milestone and our journey. We got our license in 1995. So we are a 25 year old company. As a, we started off our stolen stocks, which was our brokerage site. We ventured on to get a license in 2003 for investment banking. Uh, after that, we, in 2008, we won an award for best investment banking and a couple of also other awards. Um, 2016, we did the largest transaction in Kenya, which is a Kenyan rights issue. Which we raised, helped to raise 28 billion rights issue. Then 2018, we got our first online forex manager, um, where we are the first and only money manager currently. 2019, we gave a return of 24%. So apart from uh, our in other words, in SIB, what are our entire products, range, and services? So, like I said earlier, we began as a stock brokerage entity. So we deal, we help clients to invest in the NSE, um, where at the same time, we were the first to, to participate in the derivatives futures exchange, which my colleague Nashan will be able to explain the essence of uh, derivatives. Um, we also trade in health plans, invest in fixed income, both local and foreign institutions. We have a corporate finance department, which I'll like, explain further for the aspects that we've worked on in terms of uh, and being the, working with public and private institutions. We have a very robust research departments that helps our clients be able to um, get the best value in terms of um, investments and the, and the trends in the market and reports and, and, and uh, both quarterly, work, weekly and daily reports. And recently we have our global markets department in which uh, we host our fund management and where we have our, our flagship uh, offering called Mansa X, which we'll explain further. So our highlights, uh, we've helped to to successfully close 200 billion worth of transactions in Kenya. Um, and this in the range from IPOs, we've also done rights issues, 
We have done takeovers and mergers. We have also done business valuations and we've done also a lot of restructuring and advisory. So just to go into detail of some of the things that we've done, this is what we call our tombstone of the activities that we've done. And we can see from the top left corner, we started off with Acorn, which is fast green bond in Kenya. And we help a uh, company raise uh, in terms of placements for 5 billion. We helped in um, the, the takeover between KCB and NB and NBK as independent financial advisors. We've done Kenal Corbill um, in 2016. Like I mentioned earlier, we participated to raise 28.8 billion worth of rights issue. 2016, we also helped capital raise for KCB also. We've done 2015 uh, SMEP. We've also uh, worked with Family Bank in terms of valuations and capital raising to help um, to raise 3.1 billion. Um, in NSC, we've also helped in valuations and capital raising for 627. Um, DTB, we worked in valuations of cap to raise capital of 3.6 billion. In ABC Bank, we also helped to do valuations and capital raising for uh, 1 billion. Um, 2013, just to mention uh, Scan Group, we helped raise uh, an acquisition for 24%. Um, all the way to, to 2012, 20, 2012, we helped uh, Stanchart raise 3.2 billion. Um, in Kenya Airways, um, we helped raise 20.7 billion. Uh, unfortunately, um, with the current situation, we hope that it'll get better uh, now that it is with the government and we are currently advising on that. Um, we also helped raise 5.9 billion for British America. KCB, we help in capital raising for 15 billion. So as you can see with our tombstone, we have done quite a number of transactions. We helped in 2006 with the Kenjin IPO, uh, very successful IPO, we helped to raise 7.8 billion. Um, we also helped in Access Kenya for, to raise 450 million and quite a number of activities that we've been able to perform. So, so introduction to our team. Um, sorry, this is this is our team. So as you can see, we are wonderful people. As you can see, um, we have our board of directors uh, from our founder. Um, and now, finally as we come to the interesting part, which we want to talk about, introduction to Mansa X. And uh, from here, I'll give uh, our executive director, uh, Nahashan Mungai from Global Markets to continue from there. Thank you. Hi, are you looking to maximize your earning potential even with the prevailing market conditions? Why not consider a multi-asset strategy fund that not only gives you alpha returns, but also diversifies your investment portfolio across many asset classes, thereby reducing your exposure to risk? Invest in Mansa X and begin your exciting journey with Standard Investment Bank. Mansa X is regulated by the Capital Market Authority. In fact, in 2019, we were able to give our clients an annualized return of 24%. To join us, simply dial 0777 or simply visit our website, sib.co.ke. See you soon. Okay, good afternoon, everybody. <clears throat> uh, thank you, Nikkei, for that. My name is Nahashan Mungai. I'm the executive director in charge of global markets here at Standard Investment Bank. And uh, I'd like to thank all of you uh, for joining us today uh, for this webinar. And uh, it's our hope that it will help to shed more light in terms of how Mansa X, um, how, how Mansa X trades, what our rationale behind the fund is, and and how we achieve the kind of returns that we do and how, how we expect to uh, perform in the future. Uh, we started the background of why, why Mansa X, why did uh, Standard Investment Bank 
uh, create a fund uh, such as uh, such as this one? What was the rationale behind it? So in 2016, um, the management of uh, Standard Investment Bank and the board of directors of Standard Investment Bank were faced with a very unique uh, problem, which was that investors were coming to, um, to, to, to our financial advisors here and asking, can we create can we create for them uh, a product that can be able to not only give them uh, a good return, but be able to diversify their portfolio and be able to actually make returns uh, during periods of uh, recession, as well as uh, periods of uh, uh, bullish markets. So they really wanted a fund that can weather the storm and be able to make returns in spite of uh, the local market conditions. So it was a very unique request and it was mostly because um, investors in Kenya were going through what you call investor fatigue in that there were not too many options and, and this continues to be the case, unfortunately, not too many options locally uh, for, uh, uh, for uh, financial instruments that investors can, can invest in. So that is how uh, in 2016, the, 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 the directors and, and management of uh, Standard Investment Bank decided to create a fund that would give investors access to global markets. So we found that that was the best solution uh, to give investors access to global markets, mostly because they tend to be a lot more uh, developed and therefore there are a lot more options for investors. So at the time as well, uh, the, the Capital Markets Authority, who are the regulators of, of capital markets, or inter financial intermediaries in Kenya, also created uh, what you call the online Forex trading uh, regulations. That was in 2017. And the reason they created these regulations was really to protect investors, uh, because at the time there was a trend, and 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 this is still in, in this is still the case uh, up to now in a in, in a little bit of uh, in a in a sense. So they created the online forex trading regulations to pre to protect investors from falling prey to unscrupulous traders and trading platforms that were uh, prevalent at the time. So it's through this online forex trading regulations uh, that SIB was granted a license as a first and only uh, forex trading money manager uh, by the Capital Markets Authority. So this was at the tail end of 2018. So uh, at SIB, we dubbed the fund uh, Mansa X. And um, the model that we then created for Mansa X, I'll explain very shortly. But just to give you an idea, uh, globally, you find that uh, there are other there, there, uh, what we are doing here at SIB uh, is a bit unique locally, but it's something very common uh, in the West. So if you look at uh, if you look uh, if you look around globally, you'll see that there are funds like BlackRock, uh, Bridgewater Associates, Goldman Sachs. Uh, down south in South Africa, you'll see they have Lorian Capital, and these funds operate using models very similar to Mansa X. So we are very fortunate to have an innovative uh, regulator like uh, the CMA who was able to help us create a fund that's very unique in the Sub-Saharan uh, region. So what is Mansa X? Okay, uh, Mansa X is a multi-asset strategy fund uh, with a long short trading model that, in, in, that invests in financial instruments, both local and global, with the primary objective of creating capital growth for its investors. It's also very important, and I'll repeat this again, that uh, SIB is a first online forex trading money manager licensed by the Capital Markets Authority in Kenya under the CMA Online Forex Regulation 2017. So based on this information, yeah, we have to be very clear that there is no other money manager that is licensed to engage in this business. So for our investors out there, for now, if you meet anybody who tells you that they can manage your funds in the online forex trading space, they are doing so illegally. And that's very important for all our investors to specialize in this their life. So what do we invest in? Um, we can categorize our investments uh, very quickly into six categories. Uh, and this is where we give our clients exposure. This is, these are the asset classes that we give our, our, our investors exposure to. The first one is currencies. So we invest in all the uh, most of the world's major currencies, uh, specific, mostly, mostly the major G10 currencies, but we also invest in emerging uh, world currencies. We also invest in precious metals. So 
uh, this is uh, one of the funds in in Kenya where you can get exposure to precious metals like gold, silver, platinum, palladium. We also invest in commodities like natural gas, oil, coffee, and that's very unique as well to Mansa X. And then what's interesting is that we give clients exposure now as well to global stock indices. So if you want to get exposure to the S&P 500, the FTSE 100, the French CAC 40, for example, then Mansa X is a fund that's able to do this for you. Then we are also able to invest into specific uh, single stocks. And very recently, um, and this is again something we are working very closely with the regulator, is we actually give investors the ability to invest directly into single stocks. So if you want, if you want to be to have exposure to say Netflix or Tesla or Zoom, then Mansa X is really the the money manager that can do this for you. Uh, a big part of our fund, again, is, uh, is also comprised of cash and cash equivalent assets. So we do, we do fixed income uh, within uh, that, that asset class. So those are the six asset classes that we trade. Uh, but, but obviously, then the underlying, the underlying, uh, the underlying um, instruments are much more under each category. There's been a, a particular interest from our investors to understand one particular asset class that Mansa X invests in, and these are what you call derivative products. So these, these are some of the products that Mansa X uses uh, to augment uh, the returns for the fund, as well as hedge against the, the market turbulence uh, that, we, that exists. So for example, um, but first let me define what a, a derivative is. A derivative is a contract between two or more parties whose value is based on an agreed upon underlying financial asset. So there are very many different types of derivatives. Uh, in Kenya, we have the NSE derivatives market where you trade what are called futures. A futures contract is where you are able to agree today to buy or sell a particular contract at a, an agreed date in the future uh, at, uh, and to agree on the price today. So that is what you call a futures contract. And these are some of the products that uh, Mansa X trades. For proprietary reasons, we cannot really uh, go into the details of the particular derivative products that we actually trade. But this is also one of the reasons why we are able not only to give augmented returns for our investors, but we're able to hedge a lot of our risks for our investors. So whenever an investor works with us, one of the things they should know is as, as, as portfolio managers in Mansa X, we are very careful to protect investors' downside risks. And we use derivative products for exactly this reason. And it's very unique to our fund. I believe there are not too many uh, fund managers in Kenya who apply the use of derivatives to the extent that Mansa X does. And this is one of the reasons that we're able to have the returns that we, uh, we, we, we give to the public. As well as uh, another, another asset class. And the reason I've started with this asset class is because they have, we have not given them enough um, enough emphasis in, in our previous webinars, and, and it's something that we feel that our investors uh, will probably need to know, is that we also invest in, 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 in fixed income uh, within, uh, within the Mansa X fund. There's, there's a reason for this. It is mostly because you find that fixed income assets, uh, which, are, which is what you call government bonds, we find that they are very good and safe alternatives to not only augment the yield for our investors, but also protect their, uh, their funds and, and, and protect their capital. Now, again, this is very unique to the fund in terms of how we trade them. Uh, but this year, when this year has been uh, particularly lucrative uh, for fixed income trading, uh, because as the government sought to spur the economy uh, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, the central bank reduced interest rates from 8.5% to 7%. So, so one thing you have to understand about fixed income, as interest rates go down, then the price of government bonds goes up. And if you have invested in government securities, then you have a higher return as a result. So very quickly, uh, what, are the, uh, what are the features of Mansa X? So we have a 5% annual management fee. And, and this fee is prorated over 365 days. So we don't charge you upfront. And, a lot of investors and potential investors have asked us, isn't this fee too high? Because they feel that 5% is a very high fee. 
So the reason why we charge 5%, number one, is because Mansa X is a very uh, resource-hungry fund to run. Due to the, the number of asset classes that we have to trade, we then have to invest a lot of resources, uh, both, both economic and, and in terms of time, to be able to juggle all that and give a return. So we feel that 5% more than compensates for in, uh, the fund for the kind of returns that we are then able to generate. For example, this year, we've been able to have a 23.3% annualized return for the first nine months of 2020. When you say annualized returns, we, we mean that that is what the, the fund would make by the end of the year if everything remained as it is from that period. And, and then we have a six months uh, lock-in period. Uh, so we typically like to advise our investors to hold funds with us at least for a year, but the lock-in period is six months. Uh, we give quarterly statements and valuations. Uh, so we're very transparent. Uh, and we are within that statement, you're able to see how much you've made and, and your statement will typically give you your returns in absolute terms. And your statement will also give you your returns net of our fees. Um, then we also share with our investors, uh, both existing and potential, our fund fact sheet, uh, which we update quarterly. And then we are very active as well in giving uh, global markets commentaries. So we do this by distribution to our investors, as well as uh, regular publications in the business daily. If you look at the global market segment of the business daily, mostly on Fridays or Mondays, uh, that is usually our contribution. So how do we protect investors' uh, funds? And because a lot of people will come to us and ask us, you, you're delivering a return which seems higher than average. Therefore, you must be taking a lot more uh, risk than a typical fund. So there, 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 are, there are a few methods that we use to mitigate uh, investment risk. There, there are a few of these, and I've, I've just uh, categorized them into, into, into four, uh, four types. The first one and most important is just the skill. The skill set of the people who trade within Mansa X. Um, we have combined ex a combined experience on the trading desk of over 25 years. Uh, most of our traders tend to be former bank traders, including myself. Um, I, have, I have been in the banking industry for more than 10 years and trading in, in the treasury department, which is where the bank trading happens. And the rest of the traders happen to have the same kind of experience as well. So this is the first place you manage risk, just the fact that we know what we are doing and we will always act with due skill and care because this is something that comes naturally to us having done it for a very long period of time. Then we have also invested uh, a standard investment bank in very um, uh, advanced risk management software as well as fund management software. And, 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 and just to emphasize on this, for example, the fund management software that we use actually had to be designed specifically for Mansa X due to the, the unique uh, financial instruments that we actually trade. And the management felt that it was important to make this investment uh, so that we can give accurate reporting and also a real time, uh, a real -time um, a so, uh, statements to our investors if they so needed. I, I, I mentioned previously that we give uh, statements uh, on a quarterly basis, but as, as, as you probably noticed as existing investors, if you ever asked for your statements, you will be able to receive this uh, immediately. And there's a reason for this is because of the kind of IT infrastructure that we have invested in. Then we have, we have uh, applied uh, uh, the kind of oversight of trading that, that is, um, that aligns with global standards, all right? So uh, we, we particularly use something called limit setting. So all the traders who trade within Mansa X have limits in terms of the amount of exposure that they can expose the fund to, the kind of losses that each trade is allowed to get into, and, and, and even, the, even the, the amount of, um, at any one time, the amount of concentration risk that we can have in any one asset class. And all these are detailed very, uh, very specifically within the fund. And it's very important also to mention that all this is also uh, overseen uh, by an investment committee that ensures uh, uh, that this, this is uh, adhered to. And again, uh, another thing that's very unique to how we manage our risk here at uh, Mansa X is the fact that we do real-time monitoring of trades. Uh, this is very important because you'll find sometimes if you don't monitor trades on a real-time basis, then 
something can happen during the day only for it to be discovered later in the evening or the next day. Now, this does not happen in Mansa X. We created something very unique in terms of how we monitor our risks on a real-time basis. Then our trading methodology, again, uh, within Mansa X is very different. Um, a lot of people don't understand how, for example, how does Mansa X make money, for example, in an asset that is losing value. So people will ask, how, how does Mansa X make money? And for example, say they'll pick something like oil and say oil has lost value this year. So this is because uh, Mansa X, for those who might understand uh, how, how hedge funds work, use something called a long short uh, trading model. So long markets are typically what a lot of investors locally are used to, meaning that when you buy an asset, you only make money if the value of that asset goes up. So for example, if I buy a stock like Safaricom at 30 shillings a share, then I only make money, if, say, if it goes to 35 shillings a share. So the reverse, if, if it goes from 30 to 25, a lot of people do not understand how can you then make money if a stock price is actually reducing. So that's what's unique about Mansa X. We're able to use something called a short trading model. So if an asset class is losing value, we are able, due to the, uh, the uniqueness of our trading approach, to be able to sell that asset class at the top only to buy it back lower. And by so doing, we are therefore able to make returns for investors whether markets are going up or whether markets are going down. And this is very important for investors to understand because taking you back to how and why we founded this uh, fund and why we started working on it in 2016, this is one of the exact things that we needed to have in Mansa X so that we are able to make returns for our investors even when you're going through a bearish uh, period in the markets. And we find that this has actually worked for investors. As you can see, our historical returns have been able to, uh, to, to prove our point. Then another way we, we, we protect investors uh, in terms of how to manage their risk is really just our transparency. Okay, the fact that we give you regular updates the fact that we give you not only regular updates of how your own, I mean, not only regular updates about your own investment, but also regular updates about how the fund is performing. Uh, this, 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 this kind of transparency we feel is, is helps investors to then make a regular decisions as to whether they still want to continue being in the fund. And this is, this we feel is something that's very important to how investors are protected. So how, how did we, what are the kind of major market plays? Maybe people want to know and investors might want to know what kind of uh, plays uh, were very unique in, in 2020 that Mansa X was able therefore to make the kind of returns that we made. So again, uh, a lot of this, I, I will, I'll, I'll, I'll mention a few of them, uh, but I'll not be too, for obvious reasons, because we, we this, this a lot of this is very proprietary information, but. Uh, because some of it is historical, it doesn't matter, we can mention it. So I'll, I'll take you through a few plays that Mansa X invested in very, very shortly. So these, these are the asset classes uh, that, uh, these, are the, these are some of the typical asset classes that Mansa X invests in. So I had mentioned earlier the six asset, the six categories of asset classes that we invest in. But within those categories, these are some of the uh, particular financial instruments that we found to be very successful trading. So if you look at the S&P 500, it's up 6% for the year. And this is very interesting, and I'll show you the graph later, because it dipped at some point uh, during uh, when the COVID uh, pandemic really hit, and then recovered through what you call a V-shaped formation in the second half of the year. And now that, that therefore presented a very interesting opportunity for a fund like ours to go short when the market is dipping and then go back long when the market is recovering. Uh, in front of you there, you have assets like gold. Uh, gold has risen significantly this year, mostly of course, and, and uh, it tends to be an outlier when markets are very uncertain. And, and if just to mention a lot more about how we actually trade gold, Mansa X was actually uh, the first fund manager in Kenya to invest in the gold ETF, which is on the Nairobi Stock Exchange. And that, that is one of the trades where, that we did, and we continue to invest in gold through other means as well. And that has been very lucrative for the fund. Then if you look at the uh, uh, currencies like, you know, the Euro dollar, Aussie, cable, 
which are part of the G10 currencies. They've also had interesting volatility that we are able to uh, squeeze out a return from. And um, as well as emerging market currencies, like the Turkish lira there, uh, which you can see has depreciated over 40% against the dollar this year. Uh, specifically, um, we felt it, we, 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 we try not to bore you with charts, but in front of you there, I'll, I'll, I'll just show you a few charts. Um, uh, if you look at how the Euro has gained uh, against the dollar this year, that's, that's a typical chart of the, of the Euro against the dollar. Uh, it has continued to gain against uh, the dollar this year, mostly because uh, the, the Federal Reserve has actually been pumping a lot of money into the US economy, which has the effect of weakening the dollar. Now we think that this will continue uh, even in, in the fourth quarter of the year. So we continue to we continue to expect a weakening dollar. I mean, a weakening uh, dollar, correct? And then we expect the euro to continue gaining against the dollar. Uh, that's the same thing for the uh, Australian dollar. Uh, there's been a bit of a correction there, but there was a significant rise of the Australian dollar against the, 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 the dollar. Um, then when you come to emerging market uh, uh, currencies. Um, the South African run continues to be a very interesting play uh, for us uh, because it's, it's a very nice proxy for what, what investors expect from emerging markets. So we found that, we found that um, uh, 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 there, were, there were some predictable moves, especially the first half of, the, of this year. Um, the, the Japanese yen, uh, which, which, which is considered uh, one of the safe uh, haven currencies, uh, has also been gaining against the dollar. So what does this mean? Typically, when investors are uncertain, uncertain about uh, the future of the stock markets, they tend uh, to hold funds in, in Japanese yen, and for that reason, it then gains value. The Swiss franc as well, we saw uh, uh, this is also a very interesting play, again, a safe haven play, where the Swiss franc has been gaining against the dollar. Then one of our most interesting plays, our favorite, obviously, is uh, the S&P 500. We mentioned this severally, and um, we continue to find that the S&P 500 is trading at all-time highs. By all-time highs, we mean since the S&P 500 was founded, this is, these are the highest levels it's ever traded. And we are going to, we, we, we expect that in 2021, it will even be more interesting to trade the S&P 500 because, uh, you know, because renewed optimism around the vaccine trials, we expect will continue to push stocks even higher in, 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 in 2021. Uh, then gold, uh, one of our favorite assets, um, has has also gained year to date gold is up 22 percent all right so when people ask how does mansa x return 24 percent you can see even if we were just holding gold alone would still make that return and this is one of the assets that we've been holding since the fund's existence in 2018. of course this quarter we've seen a bit of a correction um but we still expect that in the long run gold continues to be a, a good asset to hold then this year, obviously, I'm sure you, you probably know that oil will, oil demonstrated a very interesting um, trading dynamic where at some point in, 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 in March, uh, we saw oil prices tank, uh, uh, actually that was in April, uh, tank to actually negative prices. This has never been seen before. And that was a very, that was a very easy play for uh, most, most fund managers to then pick up oil at, at bottom prices and, and take advantage of the rebound. Now we are back to about $42 a barrel, you can imagine, from zero. So that's a very interesting play and, 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 I'd, 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 and this is one of the things that, that months are obviously traded in. So six months to date. So uh, six months to date, uh, oil, oil prices are up 27, uh, 27%. So you can, see, you can see how when when, when people are talking about COVID and, and, and maybe saying that, you know, there are no opportunities due to the COVID pandemic, you can see the kind of interesting dynamics in financial instruments like this, that managers like ourselves are able to make a return from. So this is how the fund has performed um, the, this year. Uh, so that's, that's the 21 month annualized performance to the last quarter end. 
And at this point, I must make it clear that the kind of returns you're seeing here are, are, are gross of fees, all right? So if you want to get the figure net of fees, just deduct 5%. Uh, and next year, the CMA has released guidelines as to how our fund managers should report. And uh, Mansa X is going to be in full compliance of that. So once, one of the things that the CMA requires us to do from next year is to be reporting net of fees. And then uh, for, for returns that are under one year, the CMA will also be requiring that we, we just give you absolute returns, not the annualized returns. So next year, you might see a difference in the kind of returns that we quote. This is not because the fund is performing any differently. It's really just to comply with the regulator's request, which they felt uh, can, is more is is, is 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 clearer to investors, and this is not unique to Mansa X. This is an industry-wide uh, guideline that CMA has has released. So you will probably notice that with all the other fund managers as well. So this goes without saying that Mansa X uh, continues to offer uh, strong returns uh, for investors, uh, higher than what you typically get uh, in, in, in other investments. And again, I have to emphasize that this is not due to taking disproportionate risks. It's because of a number of reasons. Um, the first one obviously being the fact that we have a lot more investment uh, instruments that we invest in. We invest in a lot more financial instruments. So that's one of the first reasons. The second reason is the fact that we use a long short trading model as I mentioned earlier. Uh, the third thing is because we use something called um, uh, leverage, all right? So we are able to invest with a lot more capital that, than is available to us. Think of it as creating capital that we do not actually even, we have. We, we are actually able to create capital that's a lot more than what investors have provided us with. And this helps us therefore to give a return that will typically beat, beat your average uh, type of investment. So um, that, come, that brings me to the end of, of my presentation, uh, but thank you very much. And please, please ask us any questions you, you have. Uh, we, the, chat, the chat room is open. And uh, we are here with some of our colleagues and we will be very happy to answer any questions that you may have. No question is too, too, uh, too strange for us. Please ask anything you, you, you feel that that was not clear or anything that you feel uh, was not covered in, 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 in my presentation or Nikkei's presentation. Once again, thank you very much. And good afternoon. Hi, are you looking to maximize your earning potential even with the prevailing market conditions? Why not consider a multi-asset strategy fund that not only gives you alpha returns, but also diversifies your investment portfolio across many asset classes, thereby reducing your exposure to risk? Invest in Mansa X and begin your exciting journey with Standard Investment Bank. Mansa X is regulated by the Capital Market Authority. In fact, in 2019, we're able to give our clients an annualized return of 24%. To join us, simply dial 0777 or simply visit our website, sib.co.ke. See you soon. Thank you um, for listening to the presentation. Uh, much appreciated. I will try to answer some of the questions that are there. And as Nash and Sids, uh, as, as, as our investors, as our clients, uh, your comments, your questions are very important to us because it's from this that we are able to learn um, uh, both even the positive and the negative. We, we, we learn from them. So the first question I'll try and answer is, um, uh, is from John Wogwa. Greetings. In regards to fixed income, does the fund invest in T-bills and T-bonds in Kenya only or also countries outside Africa in the world? Uh, thank you, uh, Bogo, for your question. Yes, so our, our investment policy statement allows us to invest in, 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 in interest rate products uh, globally. So yes, we can invest in, in, in fixed income uh, instruments as well outside uh, Kenya, as well as around the world. But to be honest, we found that this, this year in particular, fixed income market in Kenya was a lot more lucrative than most other uh, 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 countries in Africa, as well as concerns around the kind of fixed income markets we saw, for example, in countries like Zambia, where you know, there, were, there, there was actually the risk of default on some of their government papers. So 
for that reason alone, we then retained our investments in fixed income only to, to Kenya for now. But to answer your question, yes, we are open to investing in fixed income securities from elsewhere as well. Thank you, Naasha. Uh, second question by Mary Kuria. The minimum amount one must invest is 250,000. Why is this so high? It excludes many young investors. Very important question, uh, Mary. Thank you for that. Yes, yeah, so if you can appreciate this was our first fund under uh, this license. We will be creating future funds um, with different aspects for, to it. We needed to also show that track record that we are able to handle funds and produce a proper return. We are currently creating a mass market product, which will have uh, a very good minimum. Fortunately, right now I can't be able to disclose because it's still work in progress, but it's there to be there soon. Uh, it, it will be mobile based, which will allow all other investors and, 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 and potential investors to be able to invest in it. Thank you. So the other question by Bonnie Oyunge, uh, does Mansa X invest in a local derivatives next market? Just to answer that question, yes, it does. And we were the first, to note, we were the first um, funds to actually invest in it. So we do invest in the local next market. We actually support it as also members of the NSC. We really support the local derivatives. Um, and we, one of our visions is for it to keep growing. Uh, hopefully one time we should be able to create a commodities market in Kenya. So those are some of the, the aspects that we'd like to see future in Kenya. The other question, um, why is the minimum so high? Is the principal guaranteed to be returned in any case of losses? Um, I think Nasha, you can take that question. So is, is the principal guaranteed to be returned if any case of losses, first of all, it's it's it it would be it would be very it would be very dishonest as a money manager to ever guarantee a return. It would be dishonest to tell investors that there is no chance that you can lose your capital. And at SIB, we feel that this is one of the things that uh, we comply uh, very very strictly with CMA guidelines in terms of how honest we are to investors in terms of the risks that they face when they invest with a fund uh, in any fund, not just Mansa X, uh, but what I can say is that the amount of due skill and care that we apply uh, to investors' funds is very, very high, and 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 we, and and there's a reason for this. Uh, Standard Investment Bank, if you are following the investment from the, I mean the the presentation from the beginning, is a 25 year old company. All right, so we are not looking to ruin our reputation. All right, by. Uh, by uh, carelessly investing our investors' funds in such a way that we can lose their funds. So we can only say that we can, uh, we, we, we promise our clients that we will apply, uh, we will take care of their funds with a due skill and care as if it was, if, as, if, as if it were our own funds. So, so uh, that's very important for our clients to know. And then the other thing that's very important for our clients to know is the liquidity of the fund. So the fund is a very liquid fund. And so we've, we've, we've designed the fund in such a way that at any one time, investors are able to access their funds. And this is very important because sometimes there's a big payoff between returns and liquidity. So typical typ in, in, investments that have a high return typically do not have very good liquidity and vice versa. But Mansa X was somehow able to strike a balance there. And, and this is also very important for our clients to understand. I hope that answers that question. Thank you. Thank you, Nasha. Um, this question is from Evelyn. If clients subjected to a further taxation after 24% per annum return investments, if so, what is the net percent after taxation? Nasha, you want to? Okay, so. Uh, Mansa X is 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 a um, is, uh, is a capital markets product, but we always we always answer questions around tax very carefully because different circumstances can lead to different circumstances. I mean, different taxation for different individuals and companies. But as far as we are concerned, uh, there is no capital gains tax right now on financial instruments in Kenya. So we feel that there is no tax on that because number two, it's not a guaranteed return fund, so they can't be withholding tax on it. But this is something that we feel you should talk to your tax consultant. But at the moment, to answer your question, uh, we don't believe that there is a tax on this. 
and just to further to to always remember the management fee so if it's a net it's up to the management fees um after that is is a comment is to appreciate uh from edwin is to appreciate the introduction and as an investor i'd like to to have uh, quarterly webinars yes thank you for that point we will be having quarterly webinars next year and to to discuss more of the performance um the other question is with the proposed plan to allow investors to directly own single global single stocks will investors be able to own a fraction of stocks or to own stocks uh, national you want to answer that question All right, so with the proposed plan to allow investors to directly own global single stocks, uh, will investors be able to own a fraction of stock or just hold stocks? So right now, uh, we you can still own a fraction of stock uh, through through uh, contracts for difference, all right, which is how we are currently uh, trading for investors in these stocks through CFDs, all right. But with with um, with what you call uh, physical shares, you then have to own whole stocks. That's a difference, all right. And 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 why therefore this then becomes important for investors in Mansa X is to know therefore that you have an advantage being in a fund like ours because there's economies of scale. So because we are a much larger fund, we are able to invest in whole stocks, which would be a much more difficult proposition for, uh, for, for an individual investor. As you might know, some S&P 500 stocks will cost you as much as $5,000 for one share, all right? So you can imagine if you're an investor in Mansa X and you've invested 250,000 shillings, we are able to go into such a stock on your behalf, yet if you would try to do that on your own, you'd have to put up 500,000 shillings for just one share of one stock. You can see how how what 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 advantage we are able to give our investors here. So to answer your question, at the moment, uh, you it will just be whole stocks and also just through months X, not individual. Thank you, Nashan. Um, we'll try and summarize some of the questions because there are quite a number. Um, some questions where a client is asking if we have to lock in our funds for six months, can we withdraw after the seventh month? Yes, uh, kindly note this is a recommended minimum. Um, it's for you to be able to appreciate your investment after six months. So, and the fund is very liquid and as one of our uh, advantages of this fund is that it's very liquid. So yes, you can access the, the, the funds after seven months. There's another question where we can access our statements online. This is one of the other items that we're still working on together with the mass market product is be able to, to provide online statements. Um, but for now they are sent through your email um uh, the other question is whether our financial statements are available yes we they are published under the cma regulations every year we have to publish into the main media so that is accessible for for Sol solomon uh come out to be able to to us to access and uh, any other information you can also check on from our website for any further information about the company um the other one is um, I can take hopefully um, the last question um, from Mr. Edwin. You're, you are yet to hit the hurdle rate of 25%. As per your projection, you um, achieved this year. If you find this challenging to, go, to hit going forward, will you reduce it to further generate more revenue on a top up of 5%? Uh, okay. Maybe just to see if I can understand the question is, are we able to hit 25% this year, uh, I think I think he actually wants to know, have, have we hit the harder rate of 25% and are we there looking to, to increase our fees by reducing uh, the harder rate? I think that's what he's scared of, that we might reduce the harder rate so that we can apply uh, a, a management fee of, of, on top of that. No, we are not. We're not looking to uh, to change to change our our fees. The kind of fees that we charge anyway are filed with the regulator, so we can't we can't randomly wake up in the morning and change the fees that we charge our clients. Uh, we are yet to hit the hurdle rate of twenty five percent. Thanks for the challenge. We we are going to try and go for it. Thank you, Nash. 
thank you for that clarification. Sorry about that. If I, I misunderstood the question. Um, I think from our colleagues, we'll be able to pick up all these questions and be able to, to answer. But uh, I think Nashon has spotted a question. I think you can raise it, Nashon. Yeah, yeah, and there's, I like this question from Frederick Mutua. Uh, most of your asset classes appear in foreign currencies, yet investors fund in Kenya shillings. How do you manage the forex mismatch? Just going back to the conversation, I, or rather back to my presentation, you remember I emphasized on derivatives. Now that is how derivatives come to play in Mansa X. That is how we are able to protect investors and hedge them from this uh, forex mismatch. So we get into a number of Forex um, uh, derivatives that, that are able therefore to give you uh, a pure return uh, that has already eliminated the foreign exchange risk. And that's how we protect our investors. So we get into a number of FX derivatives for that. So ladies and gentlemen, um, because of purposes uh, of, of the questions, I know they keep coming and we once again really appreciate the questions. We will be able to uh, pick up all the questions that everyone has because we believe that we need to answer to all the responses that is there. And we'll have a form, formality of how to answer them either through FAQs that we'll be able to post for everyone to be able to view. And so that we may be able to answer all the questions as best as we can. But once again, I just want to thank everyone um, for participating on our webinar. Um, we will really appreciate it for you to take in the time to listen to us. You could be doing other things, but you decided to listen to us. And we just want to say thank you for that. We will be posting more, um, especially from next year, on our quarterly, um, quarterly reviews on how the performance of the fund will be doing. And um, and just once again, thank you for for everything. Thank you for the support uh, for for our clients, and we just want to appreciate everyone. Thank you so much. Okay. Good evening. I just uh, want to thank you again. Uh, just like Nikki has said, thank you for taking your time to listen to us this uh, this afternoon. We've seen so many questions in the chat room of uh, hundreds of questions, so we're going to respond to them as as soon as we can. And, uh, and 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 uh, hopefully hopefully we'll be able to satisfy everyone's concerns uh, individually. Uh, once again, thank you very much, and and have a lovely evening. Thank you. Hi, are you looking to maximize your earning potential even with the prevailing market conditions? Why not consider a multi-asset strategy fund that not only gives you alpha returns but also diversifies your investment portfolio across many asset classes thereby reducing your exposure to risk, invest in Mansa X and begin your exciting journey with Standard Investment Bank. Mansa X is regulated by the Capital Market Authority. In fact, in 2019, we're able to give our clients an annualized return of 24%. To join us, simply dial 0777 or simply visit our website, sib.co.ke. See you soon.